Everyone talks about pro wrestling, but everyone talks about which era of wrestling was the best. Everyone talks about an era of attitude, the golden age of pro wrestling. But now there is a new style of wrestling, a new breed of wrestling, an era which will never be defeated. New Breed Wrestling. fans, Jeremy Atkins for New Breed Wrestling. Tonight on this program, you're going to see three very exciting matches for the United States Heavyweight title. You're going to see Luke Langley versus the massive Kurt Gannon versus the beautiful Brene. That's right, a three-way dance. You're going to see the Iceman try to cool off the hot-headed cowboy, Tyler Bodine. You're also going to see the Iceman defend the U.S. title against Curtis Wilde. So sit back and grab a hold with New Breed Wrestling. Welcome, New Breed Wrestling fans. I am Jason Moores here with my colleague, Sal Sanchez, and we are here for an exciting U.S. Championship title match. That's right. We're going to see the American outlaw, Tyler Goldeen, against the champion, the Iceman. I love this Tyler Goldeen guy. This guy's no nonsense. He hates the crowd. He hates everyone. He hates everything. He's a lot like myself. Is he threatening to hit people with a cowboy? Oh, definitely. I've seen him do it. He was beating some people a little earlier uh, before we went on the air tonight. That's not very nice of him. Tyler's a big guy. He's a big dude, and the crowd does not give him his respect. Look at them disrespecting this man. Your new champion, you're looking at him right now. I can tell the future Mortis. We're gonna see a new champion tonight. I'm not so sure about that because the champion Iceman is a very talented, very experienced wrestler. I think I think he might retain it. I think if it was a dance off, okay, I'll give it to the Iceman, but definitely Tyler Bodine has the size advantage tonight. And there's the intro by ring announcer Wendy, and we're getting ready to see the Iceman. I see his old nemesis Bones there on the stage next to him. Well, here comes the Iceman now. He's ready, he's pumped up. Looks pretty excited going to his ring. I will have to admit, I do like that robe. It's a nice looking room. It's very funny. But don't get used to it, Iceman. I'm only going to give you this one compliment. But I know the Iceman's your spirit animal, Mortis. No, no, no. I know what you're going to say. You're going to make a ball kick. Not that funny. You got me this time, Mortis. This crowd needs to stop giving Bodine a hard time. I think I heard someone calling him Jethro Bodine, like the Beverly Hillbillies. I don't like that. You don't disrespect the big man like that. 
Well, I have to say this one thing about Tyler Bodine. He's, he's very fired up. He's ready to go. He's got that, that look in his eyes. You know, he's just, he wants that title. And he's got the body. He's got that buffet body just like me. I love it. And Tyler definitely has a size advantage here. And again, the crowd let them have it, but you can't focus on the crowd. Focus on your match, Tyler, and you can become the new United States champion. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there's Tyler Bodine just attacking Iceman from behind when he's getting the crowd on his side. Tyler's delivering a couple of shots, a couple of slaps to his head. That's right, that bald head of his. Choking him on the ropes there. I mean, not choking him, he placed him gently on the ropes. No, he was definitely choking him. The ref was saying that he was getting him to the count of five. To get off. And Tyler seems to be pretty, pretty distracted by the, uh, by the audience there. He needs to focus more on the ice cream. Well, it's hard to focus when we're in here and all these people are yelling and screaming and calling them names. Well, those people, they pay their money. They can cheer who they want. They can do who they want. Not if I have my way, Morris. Well, what way this is in your way? It's been all Tyler Bodine in this match so far. That's right, Iceman just kind of draping himself there in the corner as he unloads on the stomach. Applying that pressure, that's got to hurt the gut and also hurt the back. Shot after shot, I don't know, I don't know how much Iceman can take more of that. Oh, I think this match is over already. Yeah, Iceman's coming back with a couple shots of his own. It's going to take more than that to take the big man down. And Iceman learned that quickly as he's back down on the canvas. Tyler telling him to stay down. Might as well just roll over and let him pin him. Tyler's holding on to the ropes for the extra leverage there while he's stepping on the Iceman's head. I love it. Big knee sends him back down. Throws him into the corner. There we go again. Applying the pressure. And he's having some words with the ref. Iceman struggling to get back on his feet. He's on his knees trying to fight back with all he can. Coming back up. A couple shots to Tyler Bodine's gut. This is the clothesline. Tyler Boat Codine gives the Iceman a back body drop. And how did he kick out of that? That's a two count. <laughs> Tyler getting ready. Tell him to get up. It looks like maybe a forearm, a clothesline, something coming up here. His arm all up. Oh, oh! Big clothesline. He's just too close to the ropes. Iceman grabs that bottom rope. If he was in the center of the ring, that may have done it in for him. Definitely would have been over. And again, Tyler going after referee Gordon Atkins there. I mean, now he's threatening to punch the ref, but you can't do that, Tyler. I'm sorry. Because he's just doing his job. As much as I would love to punch Gordon, you can't do that in the middle of a match. You'll get yourself disqualified. Iceman stops Tyler from being in the corner. Oh, and gives him a big splash into him. Goes for the two count. Goes for the pain. Gets a two count. Iceman's trying not to... Not trying to let the big man get up. Just delivering some blows to his back. There we go. Whip across the corner. Big splash coming up. Oh, but he moves and misses. Trips. 
Ice Man goes with a pin. Two. And Ice Man wants this match to get over with. Tyler Bodine has just been, just been putting all his strength and all his weight. Yes, he's been. Ice Man. He's been very dominant this match. Ice Man pulling out all the tricks, trying to get him down. But it's not working, Ice Man. Oh, but he got the ref. Tyler, Tyler Bodine just pulls the ref in front of him. I didn't see that. The ref just got in the way. And there's that cowbell. More cowbell. Yes. Look at that cowbell right into Ice Man's noggin. Ice Man's down. One, two, and three. It's That's all over. Three count. We've got a new champion here tonight. The American Outlaw, Tyler Bodine. I love it. There we see with, with the help of that cowbell. Hey, more cowbell. And maybe that's Tyler's model. That's my model, Morris. I might start carrying one here in the booth. Oh, you better not. I don't want to see a, see a cowbell in here. Tyler Bodine celebrating. With that new championship. He's still talking the crowd. The crowd's not happy, but I am. Seems like Tyler enjoys people's misery. <laughs> Sound familiar, Mortis? I love this guy. I love this guy. You would love this guy. What's up, New Breed Wrestling fans? This is your New Breed Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Nothing Neater, Derek Teeter. And the stars of New Breed Wrestling are coming back to Fulton, Missouri on April 23rd at the Fulton Event Center. The doors open at 6. The concessions are provided by the Kiwanis Club. You can also purchase your tickets prior to the event at American Midwest Insurance Group or Bookkeeping Payroll and Taxes. Come grab a hold with New Breed Wrestling on April 23rd. Now that's neat. Luke Langley, of course, the U.S. champion and the boss out there making him call out anyone in the locker room. Could be anyone. We'll find out who his opponent is. Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 235 pounds. He is currently the Midwest Popcorn Champion, the Suplex Cyclone. Oh, the Suplex Cyclone, Kurt Gannon, Popcorn Champion, going up here and ready to add another belt to his collection. Yeah, now Luke's going to have a tough challenge ahead of him. You want this chance? Come and take it. Well, Luke's a tough guy. He's been all over the place, so I'm sure he's going to walk out the champion tonight. But Suplex Cyclone also has Wendy in his corner, and she's been known to get involved in these matches. So This is going to be a great match. Both, both athletes are very tough, very experienced, and this could, really, this could really go either way. Yes, it could. Both men sizing each other up right there in the middle of the ring. Referee Gordon Atkins is a, a in charge of the action tonight. Wait a minute, what's this? Brene. Oh, Brene's coming out. What, what, what's she saying? Does she win the match? Looks like she wants in the match. She's begging Scotty for a part in this match. You're up here, you're I, mean, I can't blame her. She wants that title too. Title last night. I mean, that, that's, a, that's, that's a pretty prestigious title in New Breed Wrestling. Here, yes, it is, Mortis. It sure is. I can do it. I swear. Just give me a, just give me a chance. Give me a chance. Look at the size of Kurt Cannon. Look at this man here. Begging for that chance. He's begging to get in there. He's getting the crowd on his side. The crowd wants her in there. Luke doesn't want a part of her. Luke's a gentleman. He doesn't want to beat a lady. Well, Brene is, Brene is a very talented wrestler, and that just decreases his chances to, to retain the title. Well, it looks like there's, he's going to grant her the match if she signs a waiver here from the Missouri Athletic Commission. All you got to do is sign that waiver. 
the crowd behind her telling her to sign it. What do you guys think? Oh, and the crowd wants to see this become a three-way match tonight. You know what, Mortis? I'll admit, I want to see it just a little bit. This is, this is, this just got very interesting. All right, so Brene has been added to this match. It's now a three-way with the suplex side from Luke Langley and Brene. And now Luke, Luke can win the title without being pinned. That's right. Brene can pin Kurt Gannon. Kurt can pin Brene. This is going to be interesting, Morris. So now the champion has twice the work ahead of him. Well, Luke and Kurt don't so look very uh, confused about this decision so here. No, no, and Langley giving her the opportunity to walk away. Go ahead, Brene. Go ahead and go back to the locker room. Yeah, Brene has never walked away from, from a fight. She wanted in this. She's going to take it too. Oh, wait a minute. Is she going? Where is she going? Maybe she is going to walk away here. Maybe considering it, but the crowd is rallying for her to stay in here. Oh! Oh, look, look at Brene. She's stepping up to both men. She's not backing down. No, she's not. Showing her dominance, her strength here in this match so far. I don't even think the match has officially started. No, the, the bell rang, the bell rang. She's, she's ready to go. She's giving it to both men there. Wow, that hurt a little bit. Kurt stopping that right there. Pushing her to the side. Pushing the man off to the side. And here we go, Langley tying up with Brene there in the center of the ring as Kurt looks on. It looks like Kurt's got some up his sleeve. Oh, big punk sends him down. Oh. Oh. I just know he's one I want to help. And again, Kurt no, no. trying to be, possibly get her out of the ring. Put her up on the shoulders there. Send her up on the turnbuckle. Just saying, stay here. Let me handle my business. Luke tries to get a shot on Kurt. Kurt blocks him. He's throwing some strikes of his own. Oh, oh, oh. Renee's still watching from the turnbuckle there. I guess she has the best seat in the house as Luke goes down from that big elbow and sends him out of the ground there to the railing. You know what? That's, that's not true of a strategy in Renee's heart to stay up there. If, uh, if they don't want her in there, just let them wear themselves out. And she can, she can pick up the straps. Good, good um, observation, Mortis. I actually agree with you once again. Don't get used to this. Let's take his time on the outside. Counting along with the referee, there we go, taunting him just a little bit. Rolls in to break the count, card stands over, and he's just counting along with the ref. He needs a little extra uh, breather there. Kurt, Kurt hits pretty hard. Oh, and comes up from behind. Uh oh. He's surrounded. Oh, Wendy slaps him. <laughs> Takes a big slap from Wendy. Wendy sends him back into the ring. Of course, you can't become a new champion if you're not in the ring, so. She certainly wants Luke in the ring so that Kirk can handle his business and win the title tonight. Now we're back to the face off. Luke kicks Kirk in the gut and gives him a four up the gut. Gets him in the corner. Breaks his eyes against the top rope. Oh, that's gonna burn. That's gonna leave a mark in the morning. Sends him across the ropes. Renee consulting with Wendy there as the action continues in the ring. Send him up for the suplex, but it's blocked by that elbow. Yeah. Kirk gives uh, Luke a little, you know, hip toss. 
back there. <laughs> so the right in the corner. All right, Luke could be in trouble as he sends him against those turnbuckles. Corner to corner, is he coming this way? And another one. And blocks that one. And sent, well, almost sends Gordon to that turnbuckle. Gordon is still looking on there on the outside. Looks like she might have a little something up her sleeve. We'll see. Renee's just, I think mean, she's picking her spot. She's watching the two men beat the crap out of each other. Uh, she's getting into the ring. What is she doing? Get back on the outside, Renee. Oh, it goes for the schoolboy. The schoolboy tries to pick up a quick win. Two count. Two count on Kurt. Took him out of the prize ring. Kurt doesn't look happy about that. Like he told her to stay outside the ring. She didn't listen. I mean, why wouldn't she? She's in this match, too. Oh, man. Luke sends a media right in the first back of where he's looking. Throws a grenade to the front. And gives her a neck breaker. Two counts. Come on, Kurt. Kurt staggering to get on his feet and regain control of the match. Wendy over there consoling Renee after that big hit. She's pretty concerned with Renee over there. And this is the sign of the champion right here, using the rope so it's advantage. He's got that five seconds to do what you gotta do to retain that title. He's gonna make me. Kurt looks a little, uh, a little dazed over there. He took some shots over there. He's trying to throw some strikes, but... Renee's still out there on the floor. She might as well just tap out, give up, go back to the back. No, Renee does not give up. Oh! Here we go. And a two count once again by Gordon Atkins. The champ of the whole United States! Taunting the crowd there. Yes, the crowd does not like Luke. But quite honestly, I don't like this crowd either. It looks pretty confident about, about this. I think he's pretty confident he's going to be retaining his title too. Yeah! Kurt to the corner and takes an elbow to the face. Big drop kick sends the big man down. This is it. Again, another two count. Another two count by the slow counting ref. I don't like this guy. Someone get him out of there. Where's that strip ball you put to now, Cole? Go ahead and sink it in, tap him out. Try to wear him down. Looks like uh looks like Brene maybe making her way into the ring. Referee asking him, Kurt's not giving up. Luke applying all that pressure there on his neck. That's going to take a toll. Definitely going to wear a man down. Renee's yeah, still feeling the effects of that, of that, uh, that shot to the corner from Kurt Lane to do. Oh, jawbreaker on the move. Well, Wendy should take her focus off of Renee because she's there in the corner of her game. Here we go. Back slide up. Oh, hit to the face. Didn't quite get the pin, but here we go again. And another two count. Luke looks a little frustrated. Not only does he have to focus on what's going on in the ring, but he's got Brene back there. Who could actually enter this match at any time. Couple of palm strikes from her. Some kicks. And a big beat to the face. Sends him staggering over to the corner. Big splash. Whipping him across to the other side. Another close one. Here goes. He goes over. T-Bone. Oh. I don't like this, Morris. I do not like this. Oh, uh, look at out too. Renee again talking to Wendy there in the corner. 
They seem to have forgotten the Brene's there. I believe so. That, that, that gives Brene a lot of time to recover. Yeah, these two guys. Uh oh! She's climbing the ropes. What does she have planned? Oh, Luke's are. Yeah, crossbite. Oh, Luke catches Brene. Tries to toss her over. She lands on her feet. Throws some strikes on the roof. Oh, no. He's staggering. Those are powerful. Oh, clothesline sends her down. Brene got a couple of good shots on Luke. But Luke Almost a three count. That was close. That was like 3.75. Or 2.75. It's 3.75. Don't forget, it'll be over. You signed a waiver. Brian Foster! Looks like Luke is ready to finish this. Suplex coming up. Oh, but saved by Kurt. What are we seeing? A soccer side of Kurt Gannon there, isn't No, I, th I think he wants to do some suplex with his own. Number two. Is he going for a third? There's always a third German suplex. Oh, it was blocked. Luke, a couple strikes. Misses that drop kick, though. Here goes for the... Going for a German, but... There we go. Kurt gets him over. And again. Two count. That, that has been a 2.5 there. This, yes, I have to agree with you. We almost had a new champion. I think, I think Luke just kicked out by instinct there. This is good and good, good and mortis. This could go either way still. As Luke staggers to get onto his feet. Goes for the pin, goes for the roll up, two count. Ends the Gary to the back of Kurt's head. Going to the outside, looks like he might be going up to the top. This could be it for Kurt Gannon. Oh, and he mistook his time. That's for Kip. This is. Kurt got him up in the... Spins him over the floor. And so close once again. Close, close. Close, close. Thankfully that slow count worked to Luke's advantage this time. But Luke is still down. Kurt Gannon like a cat stalking his prey like a lion. He's got his over his mission. Luke gets to the ropes and he delivers a low blow on the Kurt and the ref wasn't looking. I didn't see a low blow more. It's I don't know what you're watching. Uh, but, you know, he just about finished Kurt off there with that knee to the face, but Kurt rolls over to the ropes. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Kurt the in. Rolls him up. Yeah, to a small package, roll up pin. And that was a three. That, that was a three count. We have a the, new champion, Brene. Brene just won the title. I don't like this, Mortis, but Brene is the new United States champion. The crowd is really on fire for the new champion. And Wendy's excited, like they say, girl power. Wendy's excited, she's happy. Renee's happy, the crowd's happy. I'm not happy, Morris. Oh, it doesn't matter if you're happy. But I will say this, what an exciting match. That was a very exciting match. Here at O'Reilly Auto Parts in Elden, Missouri, we have several free services like checking the scan tool to check your check engine light or battery alternator testing. We also check fluids, change bulbs, 
and batteries, a less professional installation is required. Come and see one of our professional parts people today or call 573-392-3341. Seems to be uh, Curtis Welford out Falls Count anywhere in this match. And that finally gets him back into the ring. Iceman coming up from behind. Tucker as well. I think he's the smartest man in the room right there. He just might be. Get nice warmed up. Iceman almost had him that time. Curtis Wild is barely slipping out. You can see the frustration building up on Iceman's face right now. It's obvious that Volatile Curtis Wild here, he is just trying to wear out Iceman. He's trying to infuriate him, throw him off his game. Iceman fell right into the trap right there. Thinking Wilder was going to run out again. Didn't happen this time. So he slides right into a boot. Big shout out to Iceman there. He is down. He is feeling that one. Oh, Iceman finally gave the upper hand on him. And that wasn't very long lasting. And the champ for getting this is false count anywhere tonight. Thanks to the fans for voting on Facebook and making that the stipulation.
Iceman just can't get up and do anything to the champ right now. Oh, Iceman getting the getting a hold of him, slamming him into the table. Big right by Iceman. Dropping the elbow to the head. The Iceman starting to pick up some steam now. Another big right. How is Wild still standing right now? Oh! Big boot to the gut. Wild is stunned right now. He, he doesn't know what to do. Another big winding right. on the commentator desk. Come on. Come on, oh, Iceman into the door. Wilders has a look on his face like he has had enough of Iceman. Goes for the cover. Oh, Iceman kicks it out. Wild trying to make it look like Iceman is going to have the shortest reign that he's ever seen. Another big right. The chop. Iceman returns. Iceman throwing that big hook. Curse Wild face goes straight into another table. He's falling over chairs. Wild with a pan shot. Iceman retaliates with a pan shot of his own. Oh, right to the face. Oh, Kelly Clarkson, that had to hurt. Ice Minister pushes him back into the ring. Goes for the cover. Elbin Tire and Break is your full service auto repair shop located at 210 East 4th Street in Elden, Missouri. We specialize in mechanical repair, new and used tires, and complimentary state vehicle inspections. Let our auto repair professionals show you that you can trust Eldon Tire and Brakes.
and make your appointment today. It's me, it's me, it's the I-C-E, that's right, it's the Iceman, and you are now watching and tuned in to New Breed Wrestling. Oh, oh, this wildfire brings out the chair. No one home! Uh-oh. Oh, the boss has something to say. I see the boss is not just taking care of the kids tonight, but he's also taking care of the fans. Not happy with this. The boss just came in, changed this from Falls Count Anywhere to a strap match. Iceman saying, if you won't tie it up, I will tie you up. This Curtis Wilde's in the corner right now, screaming bloody murder. This is not the contract he signed. This is not the match he signed up for. Curtis Wild seeing stars over in that corner right now after that big right hand he just took from Iceman. Iceman setting up for another one. Ooh, big chop. Ooh, Iceman giving a little shimmy for that 10th shot. 
little salt in the wound. Champ is seeing stars. Strapped to the back. Iceman is not playing around anymore, y'all. Ooh, I haven't seen anyone hit with a belt that hard since that time my grandma see me steal her apple pie. It's just weird. Curtis Wilde has no answer to the strap match. Or maybe he does. A nice little low blow there. I guess when you can't win the thing clean, you got to kick him where it hurts. Curtis, Curtis Wilde doesn't realize that this is not a pin. He's been getting some, some new life brought into him now. Oh, both men down. to his feet first. Kicks Iceman right in the face. And there he goes for a cover again. He just does not understand. You don't win by, by pinfall this match. Now Curtis Wilde's figured out how to win this match. He's marching around. He's dragging Iceman behind him. But he's not realizing every single one he hits, Iceman hits too. Oh, I 
nice fan. Oh, gets out of it. Oh, big DDT on him. Iceman's done it. He has knocked off your, your over 365-day champ. Iceman went from no belts to two tonight, people. That is what you call magic and a miracle. Wild again. 